Hi there, it's Larry Larcy. Welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at adding a vignette to your images. I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way of doing this. There's so many ways of doing it in Photoshop. Um, a lot of them have tons of steps and dealing with layers and curves and all that. Um, but if you're just looking for a quick, fast way of doing this, that's what I'm going to show you today. And So let's just jump right in. What we're going to do here is add a gray layer on top of our image. We've got the image right here. I'm going to come up here and do Layer, New Layer, which brings up this little box, and we're going to call this Vignette, Stay Organized. And then what you want to do here is change the mode to Soft Light, and then click this box. And it's going to create this vignette layer up here. Now this is something that you can set up an action to do. I've got a video on how to create actions. So you could just set yourself up a vignette action that would do those last few steps for you and make this even faster. But once we've got this set up, all we do is with a hit B and just have make sure we have a black brush. I've got my opacity set to about 20%. And what I'm going to do is just basically paint around the edges with black. And you can use a little you can use the brackets to use a little bigger brush if you want to speed things up a touch. It's important that you've got a on your brush a soft round brush. Don't use a hard brush or it will give you lines. So make sure you've got a soft brush. But we'll go around and what I will usually do is do it until there is too much that we've gone too far with the vignetting because we're going to pull it back here in just a second. So we get to write about like this. Turn this off and on. There's the before and the after. I think it's a little too much, but that's perfect. So right there, once we've got it a little more than we want, then we're going to come here to the opacity and just kind of dial it down a little bit until it looks natural. Now my thought is always that you want it to be where you can't see that it's there. That uh, much like retouching, dodging, burning, vignetting is one of those things that if they can see the vignette, it's a distraction. So you want to get as much vignette as you can, but still where you look at it, it looks like it hasn't been vignetted. And I think this is perfect. We don't really see any sort of a vignette on it. Again, there's the before, there's the after. Definitely brings a little more uh, focus in on her. We could even do a little more here on the sign, make that a little bit darker. You could even blur it a little bit if you wanted to. But we're mostly going to deal with just toning things down so that we're not drastically changing the image, just toning around those edges. And that will definitely give you an uh, option to come back later and add more or less opacity to it or take it away altogether. And like I said, there's a lot of other routes you can go to do a little more advanced vignette, but this is what I've found to be the most effective way and just quick, painless way of creating it. And like I said, if you create an action for it, it's even faster. There you have it. A simple, quick way to add a vignette to your image. I hope that helps. Be sure and like and subscribe if uh, this helped you out some. Leave a comment below. Let me know. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.